another what I eat on WW. Right now I am on my way to work. And as you all know, in my last weigh-in, I said I was struggling um, just for the simple fact that I'm losing weight without really trying and then that's getting to my head because it makes me think that I can eat and still lose weight. But today I figured why not film because I feel like when I film I can, I'm on track more. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I did weigh myself this morning. Let me tell you, I'm not happy. So I'm just hoping that that's a lot of water weight and that will come off. Um, for weigh in in two days I don't know um, it actually really frustrates me but I know better to not weigh myself after something like that so maybe I shouldn't have okay the Sun is shining right now I'm sorry about that but anyways um, so I figured I would film I just need to get back on track um, uh, it's just I'm so frustrated right now like I just don't even know what to do but like I do know what to do but do you ever get in a situation where you're like I don't know what to do but I do know what to do I just don't want to really do it it's not that I don't really want to do it it's just if I gained all that weight back it was kind of like pointless to lose it type thing but um, at least I haven't gained my whole 75 pounds back that's how I'm looking at it so right now I'm headed to Superstore to pick up some sliced meat because I'm gonna make a snack plate for lunch um, I've already kind of planned out what I'm gonna have for the day um, and that's what keeps me on track so um, yeah I'm headed there I'm almost here so I'm going to let you guys go and we'll probably see you actually I guess I can tell you what I'm having for breakfast I'm having my normal coffee for one point and then I'm having a built bar in orange for three points I'm gonna put it in the freezer um, I'm gonna have that for breakfast and I'm gonna have a good day um, I know that I can do this I'm gonna have a good day I know I can stay on track um, I can feel that I'm gonna have a good day and I'm just gonna drink tons of water and when weigh-in comes if I do gain I know why um, I don't know I just feel super like bloated right now and from me not going to the gym um, I can feel like my arm flab coming back like not being as tight as it was because I was lifting weights but Thursday is the day I'm going back to the gym I actually won a giveaway here for a local um, personal trainer so I'm gonna go do that for one hour on I'm gonna try to get on Friday so we'll see how that goes um, at least I know that workout's gonna be great because she's gonna push me so anyways I am at Superstore I'm gonna go head in and grab some things and we will see you guys for lunch time so, so here is lunch I really wanted a snack plate so that's what I did I have five slices of turkey breast lunch meat there that is one point you can have more than that for one point but I figured five slices was enough and inside there I have the laughing cow cheese I have three slices this one's in smoked cheese Three of these are only two points. Sometimes it's worth it to check if you can go up for a serving to see if you can get more of what you're having. So in this case, um, that's what happened. Two is two points, but if you go to three, it's still two points, so that's perfect. And then I have some pickles in there for zero, and I have some snap peas for zero as well. And then my light artichoke and Asiago dip. I get this from um, Superstore, it's the Blue Menu brand. One tablespoon is only one point, and I love this. These crackers here, they're a little bit higher in points. I know I can have more good thins for the amount of points I'm having um, for these crackers, but honestly, they're so good. What they are are the townhouse flip sides. They're a pretzel on one side and a cracker on the other side. Um, I have five here for two points. Honestly, they're so good and so satisfying, so I'm okay to spend the points on those. Um, those just came to Canada. Apparently, the U.S. had them before, but I found them at my local superstore. So this is a six-point lunch. Um, I'm gonna dig in and we'll see you guys when I'm all All right guys, so you just saw my lunch. Um, quick side note, I did not have my coffee. I took one sip of it this morning and I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't, I don't know if it didn't taste the same or what, but um, I was only sitting at three points after breakfast. Lunch was only six points to bring me to nine points for the day. Um, what is this hair doing here? Anyways, um, I only ended up having three of my turkey roll-ups because I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I was eating one of them and there was like a piece of bone or cartilage or something in it and I was like, it just turned me off. I was like, I cannot have this. Um, that happens with me uh, for eggs as well, like hard boiled eggs. If there's a shell and I eat it, I just, ugh, I just can't have it. I don't know why, um, if it's like the texture or 
what it is, but I only ended up having three. Um, so right now I'm only sitting at nine points. I'm headed to work shortly here. I think I've had three of my water bottles today, which my water bottle is 24 ounces, so I've had a lot of water today so far. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack up my snack, and you guys will see me probably before dinner. I'm gonna make my waffle um, taco Tex-Mex thing. I don't even know how to, I don't even know what to call it. Um, it's just like Mexi fries in um, a waffle maker, and then I just load it with like taco stuff. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys go and we'll see you guys when I'm home from work. All right guys, so I wasn't able to come on here and show you what I was having um, before I had dinner. We had some things to do um, after dinner. So I'm here to tell you guys what I had and to show you um, my nachos. They were so good and I'll definitely be making them again. What I did was I took my three flat out breads, um, that was four points, and then I put it in my air fryer for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And there go my sprinklers, of course. But anyways, those were my nachos. I saved a bunch of points. And honestly, there was like a whole plate full at only four points. That was perfect. And then I topped that off with two and a half ounces of extra lean ground beef for two points. All of the next things that I'm going to tell you guys are the zero point foods. Um, I had corn, black beans, salsa, um, onions, tomatoes, peppers. Did I say corn and black beans? I'm horrible. Um... Lettuce, I think I said that. I think that's it for the zero points. Um, yeah, so that was it for that. Um, and then I had one point's worth of fat-free sour cream and then one point for my three tablespoons of cheese sauce. Honestly, like I said, it was so good. And at only eight points for the whole plate, like that's amazing. I'm definitely satisfied. I had my like nacho fix um, and I have enough for my dessert tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink some more water. Um, I actually had five of my water bottles today at 24 ounces each, so that was perfect. But yeah, I'm going to drink some more water, go help my husband, and then I'll see you guys for dessert. All right guys, it is snack time. First off, before I have snack, I wanted to mention that I had a banana. Um, I forgot to let you guys know um, that I had that but anyways right now I'm sitting down for snack I finally found the sweet nutrition um, donuts here at a local reflux supplement store I am so excited they are only five points each and they're supposed to taste really good they're protein donuts like look at that um, I should have put sprinkles on this but I wanted to try it on camera and give you guys my first impression um, so I think next time I'll put the sprinkles but right now I just want to try kind of like its true flavor um, I'm gonna say that it came in a six pack and at reflex it was $25 for six donuts which come out to like $4 a donut which you know isn't bad. You can go to Tim Hortons for a donut for like $1.50 or even less but honestly those are like 11 points and these are five. So this is a much better option. I'm not too sure how much they are off their website but I will link their um, website down below. But anyways I'm going to try this on camera. Oh it smells like so good. Mmm. That's so good. It's so sweet. That's good. The texture isn't like a donut. Um, it's more like, if you guys have ever had Kodiak cakes, it's in between that and like a cake mix. It's still really satisfying, very sweet, and can definitely take place of a donut for me especially with the low points that it is. So that is a winner for me. There was a, a chocolate donut as well, and then they have like their mini cinnamon ones, but they don't have those at my local reflex. But anyways, I'm gonna finish eating this. That will put me at 23 out of 23 points. I'm really happy that I stayed on track today. My water intake was really good. Weigh-ins on Thursday, and I know that I'll probably be up, but I know that I am back on track, and that's all that matters. Let me know down below how your day went and what you guys do to keep on track, but I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.